carried by Dallas Cromwell. Alright you guys, what is going on? It's about time. It's about time I get into NHL 19. It's been sitting there on my PS3, oh, sorry not PS3, PS4 home screen for a week. Every single day I want to play it, every single day I want to make a video. Hopefully I've got the green screen working and we can actually make a nice video out of this. I'm not going to connect to the internet, I'm not going to uh, play anyone online, I'm just going to play my very first game of NHL 19. Now I'm going to read the rule book, which I don't have because I didn't buy the game. But what I did buy today, <laughs> I went a little bit overboard, I bought two more. So we've got FIFA, which everyone loves, I've played FIFA a lot in, my, in the past, not for the last probably six or seven years, and uh, NBA, which I have played in the past, but not a lot. So I've got four EA Sports 19 games right now, we've got Madden, NHL, uh, FIFA and NBA. So. <laughs> Today's video, as you can see by the title, is about NHL. Following that, we're going to do FIFA, and uh, following that, we're going to do NBA. But, with all that being said, I have been streaming on Twitch. So anyone who does go on Twitch at all, follow my Twitch page. It's JacobMcDonald27. Um, I have been made an affiliate, so I can actually take donations. I can actually have subscribers, which is pretty sweet. So if you do want to go over there and follow my channel, uh, do that because I will be streaming all four games. And I do want to, I, I want to stream all four games, which is going to be cool. Hopefully that's going to be like a, a bit of a niche for me, the sports sort of streaming guy. I don't know how many hours of each day I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know what days of the week I'm going to be able to do it, but I do need a schedule. That's one thing I know I need. So stay tuned, watch out for a video talking about my Twitch schedule. If you do want to watch me, come in and chat. Basically it's just me chatting with, with mates. Honestly, it's not watching me play. It's, it's the, chat, the chat room is where it's at. So uh, I can't wait to do that. But with that being said, today we're just doing NHL. I'm going to play a, uh, a quick, quick match. I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm excited, man. I hope I'm good. I hope I, I, hope I, uh, I, hope I score a, a, a goal. It's a goal, right? Let's get into it. Yes, close that. Seriously, I've been wanting to do this for ages. I just hope you enjoy. Um, my ice hockey videos have been performing really well recently. So I feel that this will be received well, hopefully. Um, <laughs> comment down below how I've gone. On a scale from 1 to 10, comment down below how I go. Let's go English. Got a jug of water. A jug of cold water, which is scarce around here in cans. It's uh, it's quite hot and humid, and I don't know if I like it, but I've got no choice. Anyways, I'm excited. Let's do this. Should I look at the controls, or should I just <laughs> should I just go blind? Um, I don't know. What am I going to do? I am new to sports gaming. I have not played recently. I am experienced. Standard controls and base difficulty. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Skill stick. Use the right stick and left stick for complete control. All actions available. Really? Okay. Really? Hmm. Hybrid. Combination. Oh, right. Combination of the buttons and stick control. NHL 94. <laughs> Shot, pass, body check, switch player. I'm sure there's some guys out there with that, that would rather that. That's crack up. Uh, okay, I'll, uh, recommended, I'll go skill stick. But what was the control? Pass is R2. Deke modifier, shoot, deke, move player. What do we got? Hmm, okay. Rookie, you're new to the game, yes. Over the top arcade action, no rules. Classic video game hockey. Competitive gameplay on our online default. Ultra realistic gameplay. Yeah. Um. Well, we're going to go with the recommended settings. Thank you for setting up your hospitality settings. You can make changes to these at a later time by visiting our settings screen. Okay. <sighs> Look at that snow. I'd love to be there, man. 
I always see pictures of, you know, back in New Zealand in winter time, in the snow. Snow, it's, there's snow on the mountains for like four or five months of the year. It's amazing. Anyways, am I gonna have some volume? Should I? Yes. So, pass, no. R2 is pass. Right stick is shoot and deke. Left stick is move player. And L2 is change deke. <laughs> okay, training camp. All right, they're gonna teach me. Let's do the training camp. Hi, I'm Tom Rainey. Welcome to training camp. Hey, Tom. A new feature brought to you by EA Sports NHL and Hockey Canada to deliver tips and tricks that will help you improve your hockey skills. Sweet. We want you to enjoy the game as much as we do. And it's always more fun when you're learning and improving. So take advantage of these tips to learn the rules, build your hockey knowledge. Jeez, I can't even tell which one's which. Wherever you choose Real to or fake. Hockey. Good luck and have fun. Hi, this is Ray Ferrar. In conjunction with Hockey Canada, I'm going to teach you both the sport of hockey and how to perform the actions in the game that will help you be more effective. There are six key parts to training camp. Shooting, passing, defense, face-off, basic deking, and advanced deking. If you're new, you'll probably want to learn the basics of the first four training categories. If you're an advanced user, you can jump ahead to advanced deking if you want. After the interactive training camp, there's a whole suite of videos covering the concepts that are taught to the players at Hockey Canada. Then as you play and enjoy the game, keep an eye out for Hockey Canada videos that the coaching feedback system recommends to you. Those are based on your personal performance. Let's get it going. Let's go, mate. Shooting. Right stick. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> let's go. Hey everybody, in shooting training camp, we're going to teach you different kinds of shots and how to use these shots to effectively score goals. Using the NHL skill stick controls, the left stick always controls your play, and the right stick controls your hockey stick. To take a basic shot, just press the right stick forward. The control hint is there to remind you what to do. The best time to shoot is always when the hint darkens. Okay. A tip you guys, you can try this for yourself. Thank you. I will. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Right. Let's do this. <laughs> Here we go. First try. Where'd that, where'd that blue... I've got to wait for the blue, uh, the blue little check mark, don't I? Slap shot wind up. The slap shot's the most powerful shot in hockey. It's your best chance of scoring if you're far from the net. To wind up for a slap shot using skill stick controls, you pull the right stick back. <sighs> Is that better? You, shoot, you press the right stick forward. Okay. You can't wind up for too long or the puck's going to sail away. On you. <laughs> trying I might enjoy this game, you know. <laughs> Faked him. <laughs> oh, what? I gotta push through with it. Okay. All right. Give me another one. No. Oh, what shit! I'm not pushing through. Whoops. Get it.
I've got to be facing forward, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't have to do it. Since the right stick controls your hockey stick, you can use it to position the puck around your body. Okay, to prepare for a wrist shot, first you hold the puck out to your forehand side, which for a left shooting player is out to the left. This will cause you to enter into a blind. This will improve your shot power and accuracy. Oh. When you're ready to take the wrist shot, press the right stick up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Try, we'll try and get one this time. <laughs> oh! I'm terrible, aren't I? I'm freaking terrible. All right, aiming. Let's aim. Let's aim a shot right now. To have a better chance of beating the goalie, you have to aim your shots. Use the left stick to aim at an open spot. The shot lane visualization shows which side of the net is open. And the goalie grid visualization shows dark blue regions the goalie doesn't have cover. Before shooting, enter a forehand line or a slap shot windup and look at the goalie. Use the left stick to aim at an open spot. When it turns green, to keep the left stick held, press the right stick up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So that, that comes in with any shot, does it? Oh, we'll try and open them up, eh? And get in, the, uh, put a bit of Ronaldo spin on it. Oh, that was open. <sighs> Shooting. Done. Am I? Passing. Okay. R2. <laughs> Passing training camp, we're gonna learn how it's pretty to cool how you can just use the two like sticks to well once you've got it in the in the once you've got it in the the puck handlers Using the skill player control, puck handler the puck, <laughs> press the R2 button and aim your left stick at your team the pass targeting visualization shows where your left stick is aiming and pass assist will lock onto the target if you're aiming close up release the R2 button to launch the pass. Whoops. There's passing, Defender and then there's good passing. The net. They'll try to keep it from getting the puck to the slot. So to help your team maintain possession of the puck while looking for good scoring opportunities, skate around the offensive zone, and you can pass the puck to open teammates. I want to talk heaps, but I, I need to listen, eh? 
You can always look around and pass to a player near the point, in the corner, or along the half wall. The pass suggestion visualization helps identify good passes to the open players. Try it now. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Get there. Go, son. Yeah, like I was saying, I want to talk to you guys, but I'm, I'm really competitive, eh? So I really want to be good at this. And uh, I don't know that that's possible in the first time playing it, but I, I don't want you guys to think I'm absolutely terrible. So look, I've got to listen. <sighs> One-timers. A good way to score in hockey is to get the goalie moving from side to side. And the best way to do that is to pass to an open player who's in position to shoot a one-time. To take the one-time shot, pass to a teammate, and then and smack it with the right stick. You hold the right stick up to trigger a one time. Oh, uh, I like that. Go out, go out wide. Pass it into the middle. Do a one shot. Let's go. Whoops. <laughs> Too slow. My brain literally didn't work fast enough for that. Yep, give it here, Matt. Pricey, old price. Oh. Is that it? Whoops. Give it here, Price. Am I doing it right? Yes! Yeah, that's not a one-timer, is it? Get it! Whoops. Got him. Okay, now let's put together everything we've learned so far. Start by breaking no, the I'm not confident. into the neutral zone, then cross the offensive blue line to enter the offensive zone. I want you to work the puck around the open teammates until you find a good opportunity to take a slap shot, or a wrist shot, or one time. <laughs> okay. Remember to aim your shot and use the on ice trainer visualizations for assistance. There are many ways to score. The more creative and unpredictable you are, the more success you'll have. Right, so obviously these, these visualizations are not there normally, I assume. <laughs> gotcha. I forgot to press shoot. <sighs> Get there. I would actually love to play the same. Eh? In real life. <laughs> oh, how do I change player? Alright, I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll take my time. Oh, for God's sake. 
Come on, Pricey. Through there. Ah, oh, missed it. How do you change player on defense? I keep on thinking R2 is sprint. That's my problem. Get there. R2 has changed player. Okay. Oh! <laughs> How did that happen? Right, we're going to do a. I can't remember what they called it. The one where I pass it and he shoots. Get that. So there is no sprinting. This is quite fun actually. Once you get the hang of it. Not that I've got the hang of it, but you know. Slap shot! Get the puck, son! He's open. He's going himself. Slap shot! Not quite. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Oh, what? Get there, Crosby. Oh, Crosser. Let's go. Let's go. Up the middle. Splits them. Splits them. Splits them. Splits them. Has he got an open man? Yes, he does. I don't know about that... That shot. For some reason, I can't slap it on the full. Get it. Yes! Whoops. Get there, get it. All right, okay. So it's L2 tackle then, because it's the easy controls. Get it in there! You had some green. Now aim for it. Alright, I'm not, I'm not gonna... Oh. <laughs> I said I'm not gonna panic. That was, that was panicking. Go Pricey. Oh! 
Oh, I should have shot. It's kind of like soccer, really, isn't it? Kind of like FIFA, I mean. Not like soccer, but... Still here, guys? Still here? Oh, shit! I don't want you guys to be here for too long. Like, I want to I wanna score. I really do. Yes! So you can score long-range goals. Okay. Good to know. Uh, right, passing complete. Defense, okay. The best offense is a good defense. In defensive training camp, we're going to learn the basic ways to check your opponent and regain possession of the puck. Poke check is a great way to use your stick to knock the puck away from your opponent. To make a poke check, you press the R1 button when the puck is in range of your stick. Try it now. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Shit! Oh, the dinks of the man! Woo! Body check. In the right situations, you can knock oh, over gonna, your opponent with a body. This pick. is going to be fun. Using skill stick controls to throw a body check, you use the left stick to skate towards your opponent. Then hold the right stick towards them until you finish a check. Try it now. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to feel good. All right, sweet. Stick lift. Are a great defensive tool to steal the puck from an opponent. This works best when you're alongside your opponent and you're moving in a similar direction. You get more leverage by having your stick underneath theirs so you can lift it more strongly. It's a great technique when you're smaller than your opponent and you can't separate them from the puck using a body check. So you've got poke, stick lift, and body check. When your stick is close to theirs. Okay, so you can go L1 or X when you're close to someone to get the puck. Well, <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> Sorry, coach. Get it in there. <laughs> Shot, pricey. I've really got to time, time, time it, don't I? Let's get under the stick, under the stick. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck, 
man. Get there. All right, I'm going to tap it like furiously. <laughs> Get it under there. Backwards skating. Oh my. My gosh, a backwards stick lift would be nice. Get it. Go, son. Nah. Have I been kicked off the field? Nah. Not the field, the rink. Oh. Ah, it's not all over. Yeah. Defense, done. What do we got, face off? Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Whoops. I keep on pressing pause by accident. Every face-off is an opportunity to start on offense instead of defense. It's the first battle of every shift. In face-off training camp, we're going to learn different ways to beat your opponent in the face-off circle. The key to winning face-offs is time. To draw the puck back at the face-off, using the skill stick controls, you press the right stick down as soon as the referee drops the puck. You can use the left stick to aim at which teammate you want to win the puck back to. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, we're gonna give it to my three o'clock. Whoops, too late. To improve the power of your face-off draw, you can use a specialized grip. To select a face-off grip, hold the right stick out to your forehand or backhand side prior to the draw. For this exercise, let's try winning draws just using the backhand grip. Press the right stick down as soon as the referee drops the puck. I think I'll go backhand, eh? Let's go Crozer. Or Crosby. Felt like I went a bit early there, but anyways. I'll take it. The tie-up. What's the tie-up? The face-off tie-up won't win the draw cleanly. You're going to need help from a teammate who'll have to retrieve the puck for you. But it's the easiest way to win the draw. Especially really? against an opponent who tries to draw the puck back using the backhand grip. You'll notice the opponent's using the backhand grip when the back of his lower hand is facing you and his top forearm is angled outwards. To tie up your opponent at the face-off, you press the left stick up as soon as the ref drops the puck. Let's do it. Try it now. Okay, I'll try it. Don't want to go backhand. Push him. Hold him there. That's it. Go, son. Should I use the backhand grip? I'll try and win it anyway. <laughs> All right.
That's it. Good strength. Well done, boys. Stick lift. Oh, I love my stick lifts. Lifting the opponent's center stick can be executed from either the forehand or backhand grip. It's the best way to beat an opponent who tries to draw the puck back from a forehand grip. You'll notice the opponent is using his forehand grip when the palm of his lower hand is facing you, and his top forearm is angled downwards. To perform a face-off stick lift, choose a grip, and then press the right stick up as the ref drops the puck. Okay. But you can still win more by uh, push holding him up. Basic deking. I'm gonna like this. Hang on, I've got to check my phone. Wait up. Welcome to the deking training camp. Here we're gonna show you several deeks you can use to perform during games. With NHL skill stick or hybrid control, the right stick gives you a full one-to-one -one control of your player's stick. Through different motions on both the left and right stick, you can manipulate where you move your body and where you send the puck. You can use manual control or basic stick handling to weave that looks real, the man. <laughs> ultimately deke out the goal. Once you start to get the hang of it, you'll be able to harness dozens of advanced moves such as loose puck deeks, stringing deeks together, all the way to the most advanced highlight reel move. <laughs> oh my god, if you saw that in real life. Move the right stick side to side. Do this as you approach the goalie to get him out of position. Makes it easier to score. Let's try it. Whoops. So literally just side to side to side, nothing in front because that's shoot. Toe drag, we're not playing NFL are we? When you're skating and stick handling towards this the looks defense, complicated. They're going to be using an active stick to try and knock the puck loose. Use a toe drag to move the puck back and around as you pull it over. This extra separation will allow you to avoid an active stick and poke check as you change lanes to avoid the defense. To perform a toe drag, you move the right stick out to the forehand side and roll it under to the backhand side. You can do a similar move from the backhand side as well. Let's try it. Let's try. Don't know if I got that. <laughs> loose puck deke. Knowing loose puck deeks will allow you to perform moves that you can use when you're in a one on one situation against the defender. The L1 button will open up a whole new world for you. By simply tapping the L1 button, you can send the puck in the current direction of your left stick. By timing this right, you'll be able to push the puck past the defender and then leave him in the dust. Try some taps of the L1 button to get past the defender. You didn't give me much of a chance. At least make me do it properly. Now that you've seen the power of the L1 button, Combining it with the right stick will allow you to perform even more complex needs. To perform a windmill, press and hold the L1 button. Press the right stick to the left or right to change lanes 
and collect the puck on the other side. This is awesome. Let's try it now. Yeah! All right, I think we've done that. Advanced deking. Last one on the list. I'm gonna call it a day there because my first actual, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna make another video, my first game. Of course, we gotta do that. I don't, no, I don't know if I should be doing this, actually. You learn the fundamentals of both stick handling and loose puck deeks including the basic window. That's just scratching the surface. We're gonna to get to a collection of loose puck deeds, which you can perform with different starting and end locations on both your left and right sticks. Let's try this concept out and take a crack at the between the legs deed. To perform a between the legs deed, first roll the puck back and hold it on the forehand side. Then press and hold the L1 button to initiate nice. the start of a loose puck deed. From there, pull the right stick through to the direction you want to send the puck. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's get out of this. Uh, we're gonna quit that. I think I've got. I think I got, I got enough. I, I'm gonna have to rack my brain still to do any good. But let's do this. Let's play a game. First, the first team that I actually knew of. Uh, that I told you guys was the D Detroit Red Wings. So we're going to go then. I like the white and red, I really like the uniform. And that's the only reason I've got to, uh, to like a team at this stage. <laughs> that's me. Um, okay. Three modes. Right. Be a pro? Franchise? <laughs> Let's go. Well, we're going to play now. Thanks, mate. And I'm going to play the Pittsburgh Penguins. Because that's the only other, the only other team I know. And they're most likely going to beat me, which is not good, but... <laughs> uh, what uniform are we going to do? 1927 <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 pretty classic, isn't it? Let's do that. Mm, game settings. Difficulty. Okay. Superstar, all-star, pro, semi-pro, rookie. Yeah, let's go rookie. Let's play. Turn the volume back up. We really are. Would you look at that? Oh shit. <laughs> Go son. How many players are on each team? I actually don't know that. Dogged determination there by Daly. Shoots. Handled with the stick. They're getting all the work on ice now. Holds at the point. Looks to make a play. The Red Wings are looking to build off of 
this. Hustle. That's what I'm talking about. I tried to do a backhand. Now it's directed to Pearson. Carried through the neutral zone right up the middle. Gathered up again by Cornwall. Detroit's got it back in their own zone. Takes it up near the boards. And offside is called. What? What's offside? I'm going to have to learn the rules, I think. I'm going to push him up. In this period, nothing on the scoreboard has changed. Still a pair of zeros. Good, good, go. Yeah, boy. Dropped and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. How do I, how do I smash into him? It's R2, isn't it? Stoked. Absolutely stoked with that. Oh, bloody hell. Tried some deeks, didn't work. I'm gonna try and give someone a big hit. <laughs> well, that wasn't me, by the way. Who sticks on the ground? The Penguins with a neutral zone possession along the way. Let's it go. Great club save. Now, what do you do when the goalie gets it? That's one thing I was wondering. Goals have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. They win the draw. What next? Good job defensively done there. That takes the Whoops. pressure off with that defensive. Riff. I've cleared back down the ice and it is icing. Icing. Icing? After, what, 12 minutes? <laughs> Just over three minutes left to go in the period. It's a one nothing game. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. The wings are driving it from the wing. Oh, nearly the windmill of the man. If we can pull off a windmill, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Zone to zone to Gensel. So a poke check is R1. X is a, 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 a stick lift. Can start the attack going in the zone. Fires! Fires! His perfect position in order to shut down that chance. Okay, well I know what offside is then. Or well, one offside. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Drop, tie up, and oh! 
Oh shit! Oh no! I was meant to take a shot. Oh well. First period has been completed, and so intermission activities are forthcoming. But the players get trying to a windmill. The I reckon. Got the only goal in this one thus far. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? This first team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck. Face off shots. They did not manage to puck it off in that first period. Back to the point. And he picks it up. The Penguins luck that along up the way. Shot off. So when it's saved, they do a drop. Keep that. On the face off and they lock up and a good reach. That's help from the wing. Oh, the <laughs> through the legs deep. The tank slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. A slash. Oh, we got slashed. Jeepers. No, you don't want to slash. That sounds terrible. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. Oh, no. The Penguins will get their first power play crack of the game. I don't like the sound of, of, of uh, slashing there. <laughs> We've got a power play to Pittsburgh for some unknown reason. Now, I'm going to do an offside... Uh, sorry, a backhand. it to the goal. Right, we'll give you a body check. I'll try. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Oh, yeah. He has. Driving in from no man's land. Passes to the slot. The Penguin shifting gears back in the road. Shit. Once I get the controls down, I think I might be okay. But it is on rookie. I I, I know. I know. I'm kind of still. I'm just smashing buttons at the moment. What was that? Shot Howard. Solid work. I want to do this windmill. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh. Right. Yeah. 
catching this one to Glenn Venning. And he steps in. The Penguins starting back in their own end. Beats that charge into the zone. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Oh, no. <laughs> there is penalties, okay. Uh. Oh, that's how you hold it. I was holding it the wrong way. Because he's pro probably because he's right-handed, not left-handed. <laughs> Come on, get that. Let's have a look at this. That looks real, doesn't it? Nick Minnett. Alright, we'll go backhand. Good clean win on the draw. Oh, that's good. That might turn into something here. Pitching it to Hornquist. Scooped up by Sidney Crosby. Fuck. Shit! Oh! I like this game, I do. Just gotta get my head around the controls. Can the goalie not leave that? Can the goalie not leave that blue area? Do they have to have one foot in that blue area or something? That would make a lot of sense. Explains a few things. Detroit's collected another victory on the faceoff. Whoops. Skill play by Versace. That was nearly a slash, wasn't it? The Penguins win the draw. Not to save there. Oh, mate. Feathered back away by the Kaiser. Gathered up again by Nielsen. Good use of the stick broke that pass up. The Trucks penalty kill was outstanding. Oh shit. Oh well. Guys, I uh We're actually gonna call it call it a day there. Uh, I'm gonna go and see my daughter now. It's her birthday today. I've spent the morning with her. Uh, now I've spent a couple of hours here doing what I want to do, and I'm going to go back there and spend the evening with her. So, um, hey, thanks for being here. I had fun. Like I said, I've got these two games as well. So, so head over to my Twitch channel if you do want to follow it, Jacob McDonald 27 and um, I'll be uploading content <clears throat> onto my YouTube channel as well as my Twitch streams. But, you know, I do like Twitch. I like Twitch for gaming, of course over YouTube because of the fact that it's specifically for that so you're gonna find an audience that wants to watch you so anyone who does like watching me play uh, games on on YouTube please head over there and follow me on Twitch 
Until next time guys, have a fantastic day. Like the video if you've liked it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.